Well, it's almost Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this as part of our Christmas show, which is a good deal of just sort of screwing around. That would be caulking about for those of you in Great Britain. <laughs> and for a Christmas show this year, we thought we would just screw around. Right. And, and uh, the significant thing that we're doing here is it was exactly one year ago tonight at this very table in this very restaurant that I popped the question. Yes, you did. And what was the question? Will you marry me? Well, there was that one too, but, but first I said, will you help me build a model railroad? Oh, that's what it was. I yeah. forgot. And then after we agreed on HON3, which took some discussion, then I said, well, we should probably get married if we're going to build a railroad together. <laughs> Because I that's think right. there are laws. There, there's I laws think about there are laws. building railroads when you're not married. That's right. So it was at that moment that I presented the ring. Right. And, and here this it, is the ring. This is that so ring. This is the Which ring. is actually not the ring that we used in the actual wedding. No, this was This was, this was more of a promise, a promise ring, ring or a, right. I don't know what you'd call it. Because it was in this wrapping paper. Yeah. But isn't this just charming? I love it. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Then, of course, we so went together and picked out. Picked rings. out this one because that's better. Yeah, and we picked I out. got a Chinese puzzle ring because I play with toys, and uh -huh. He's this puzzling. way it's both a wedding band and a puzzle. Right. So it's kind of fun. Right. See, we're videotaping ourselves, and a year ago when we were here, yeah. I believe he was the waiter. He was our yeah, waiter. Yeah, you were the waiter when I proposed to her at this table a year ago tonight. Well, congratulations. That yes. was a one year. Now, see, we have to point the camera at you. There, whoops. That there it is. There so, you that, go. so that we can get you on the camera well, as well. I'm on the camera. Well, there you well. go. Yes. <laughs> so there it is. Mm -hmm. One year anniversary. One year anniversary. That's a big question. Now, Another reason why we're using this in the show is because that's how we met. Right. And we've sort of covered this a little bit in the show in other episodes. Right. But I did the Rat Fink reunion three years ago and then I didn't do anything with it. And then when I got the channel going, I put it up on the channel. Right. And then at that next Rat Fink reunion, which was two reunions ago, right. you were there filming the Rat Fink reunion. I was there filming the Rat Fink reunion. We're pretty sure we, we, we ran into each other, oh, but, but yeah, without we actually really you know, knowing, knowing each here. other or anything. He was in the background of one of my pictures before I even met him. Yeah, so we were both there, but we didn't know each other and we didn't say anything to each other because we didn't know each other at the time. Right. But she was shooting video, I was shooting video. We both put them up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And as fate would have it, YouTube put the two simultaneous in the playlist for people looking at Rat Fink movies. Mm -hmm. I saw her video, she saw my video, we contacted each other, and the next thing you know, we're eating out at Chili's. <laughs> and planning an HON3 model railroad. Right. So that's how that all happened. That's how it happened. And that's it was the, the, the big question happened just before Christmas. It's mm -hmm. now just before Christmas. Right. So this will be the Christmas show. Right. And uh, along with a bunch of others screwing around, and right. we're going to be opening presents and getting under the Christmas tree, and yep. and just just having, having a grand a old. Fun. This is just a grand old-fashioned Christmas. Well, it's not that old-fashioned. It's pretty old-fashioned. It's very. It's us. It's us. It's us. And yep. so we're kind of old-fashioned. So that makes it old-fashioned. But we're also weird. So <laughs> yeah. that makes That's it okay. that, that makes, makes it weird good. too. Yeah, that makes it good. Now Christmas always starts off with marathon shopping. It's sort of like Black Friday, except that it just goes on and on and on and on. I guess you could call it fun. It's sort of the modern day equivalent of prospecting, going out there and looking for that gold nugget. But you know, there is a much more civilized approach. This is what Steve came up with for his grandson this year. Rather than go out and shop, he built him this nifty little locomotive toy. It's just cool beyond all belief. Okay, yeah, it did take three months and several hundred hours to build it, 
But wow, it's just amazing. And you can only hope that a thing like this will become a family heirloom and be around for generations to come, being handed down to other grandchildren. Now, we all did individually ask Steve to build us one, but uh, he's not buying that. Now, Karen and I have been working on our little Christmas project as well. This is Garage Mahal, and I have told people that it looks sort of like the last scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I think you can see what I'm talking about. It's been an ongoing project for about three years, and it's finally starting to come together. We really hope to be building a model railroad and building a bunch of models in here in the very near future. And yes, we're planning to cover all of that on the show, so stay tuned. And let's not forget the true meaning of Christmas, getting the whole family together and getting presents. Santa Fink left an amazing assortment of fun, fun toys for us this year. And even though Mia is only one, we decided it's about time she learned to ride a motorcycle so we bagged her this sweet ride. And if you were wondering what's in all those boxes at Garage Mahal, well, it's our toy collection. Karen collects jewelry kittles, and we found this sweet little thing online. This thing's about as rare as hen's teeth. Very difficult to find, especially in this condition. Kittles were the rage back in the 60s, and Karen had a bunch of them and really loved them. I was, you know, more into plastic models. But she still loves Kittles, and her collection is becoming quite impressive. Karen received the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Kittles for her 10th birthday, but, you know, like most toys given to a 10-year-old, they weren't around all that long, so now she's got them back. This is one of the great advantages of collecting toys as a geezer. You can take care of them and you can afford them. Now Santa Fink saw fit to bring me a complete set of the newly re-released Hawk Weirdos models. These were sort of a cheap rip-off of the Rat Fink models back in the 60s, but they were still pretty cool. There was the hot rod models, the surf models, and even a rock music set of figures. There were 24 in all, and I now have all 24 of them. Well, there you go, Christmas oh, 2015. Exactly. One of a kind. All Christmases are one of a they kind. Are. Some are more than the others. This so one is maybe is more than than right, the rest. Right. A very unique, unique. Christmas. Every bag of Christmas past while looking forward to Christmas future. Wasn't there a a book about that? Something about Christmas past, present, and future. Yeah. And we're like. Ghosts and I don't. I, yeah, no ghosts. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't read yeah. that much. So. Yeah. yeah. And I don't get out that much. But I think right. I think there's a story about that. I think so. Yeah. Anyway, a very unique Christmas, and I hope you guys had fun with it. We had fun oh, with we it. Had a blast. Opening yeah. presents and hanging out with family and, and friends. Steve and his toy train and right. just all the fun and crazy goofy stuff that, we're always that made Christmas 2015 uniquely exactly. Christmas 2015. If you haven't been over to the channel, get over to the channel and scope out the other 110 videos or so. Yeah, and there's more coming—one every single week. Can I so. anything? 
Ooh, I don't know. I yet. think I'm. We'll, I think we'll I'm think cool. about it. Let us meditate on it. But I think I think we're good. Okay. So, uh, where was I? Oh, um, get over to the channel <laughs> and watch the other 110, 110 videos, 111, 100, and one every Sunday. Right. So there's plenty to see, and all of them good fun, and and not just people screwing around opening Christmas presents. A little more serious, know. high art screwing around kinds of things. We're not gonna get serious, are we? No. Never. <laughs> why? 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 Less serious in the world. For yeah, no things. kidding. Hey, all you gotta do is we, turn on the TV. Yeah. And there's another debate. No! Anything but that. So this is the, I mean, <laughs> that makes this better. Anyway, get over to the channel. If uh, you can click on the little rocket logo, right. the blue sky with the red rocket, that'll take you to the channel. You can hit the subscribe button that will be popping in in a minute here, and that will take you to the channel if you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, shame on you. But when you click on the blue button, that will be resolved. You'll immediately be subscribed, and it will take you to the channel, and you can check out all of the other tomfoolery and fun that is over there, and now you have legitimate reason to be there because you're a subscriber. There you go. <laughs> so that's all very well and good. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. No. no. And we will see you here again next Sunday, back to a more sort of conventional bit of screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.